Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah, Chapter 18 The word which came to Yirmiyahu from Yah, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I'll let you hear my words. So I went down to the potter's house, and saw him doing a piece of work on the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was ruined in the hand of the potter, so he remade it into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to do. Then the word of Yah came to me, saying, O house of Israel, am I not able to do with you as this potter, declares Yah? Look as the clay is in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The moment I speak concerning a nation and concerning a reign, to pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it, and that nation shall turn away from its evil, because I have spoken against it, then I shall repent of the evil that I thought to do to it. And the moment I speak concerning a nation and concerning a reign, to build and to plant it, and it shall do evil in my eyes and not obeying my voice, then I shall repent concerning the good with which I spoke to, of doing to it. And now speak to the men of Yehuda and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Yah, See, I am forming evil and devising a plan against you. Return now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your deeds good. But they shall say, it is no use, for we walk according to our own plans, and we do each one the stubbornness of his evil heart. Therefore thus said Yah, Ask now among the nations who has heard the like of this. The maiden of Israel has done what is most horrible. Does the snow of Lebanon cease from the rock of the field, or the cool flowing waters from afar dry up? But my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to what is false, and they have stumbled from their ways, from the ancient paths, to walk in bypaths and not on the highway, to make their land become a ruin, a hissing forever. Everyone who passes by it is appalled and shakes his head. I shall scatter them as with an east wind before the army, before the enemy. I shall show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then they said, Come and let us devise plans against Yirmiyahu, for the Torah shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not listen to any of his words. Attend to me, O Yah, and listen to the voice of my adversaries. Should good be repaid with evil? For they have dug a pit for my life. Remember that I stood before you to speak good for them, and to turn away your wrath from them. So give their children over to scarcity of food, and hand them over to the power of the sword. Let their wives become widows and bereaved of their children. Let their men be killed to death, their young men be stricken by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses when you bring a raiding party suddenly upon them, for they have dug a pit to take me and laid snares for my feet. But you, O oh Yah, you know all their counsel against me to slay me. Do not pardon their crookedness, nor blot out their sin from your presence, and let them be overthrown before you. Deal with them in the time of your displeasure.